I am constantly updating my worksheets to reflect the needs of my business. Typically, I update individual cells or add new rows to the bottom of a database. However, there are times when I need to insert rows or columns within the data on my worksheet. For example, on this worksheet, I need to insert a column between the product name and quantity purchased columns to include the code names for each product. To do that, I select the column to the right of where I want to insert a new column. Then, on the Home tab, in the Cells group, I click the arrow next to Insert and click Insert Sheet Columns. Let's see that again in slow motion. When I inserted the new column, the data in the selected column and all of the data to the right of that column moved one column to the right. For example, the quantity purchase data moved from column C to column D, leaving column C empty. Now I enter the new data and resize the column to display the data in full. The same thing happens when I insert rows. On this worksheet, I need to insert two rows below row 8. To do that, I select two rows instead of one row, in this case row 9 and row 10. Then I click the arrow next to Insert in the Cells group on the Home tab and click Insert Sheet Rows. Using slow motion, you can see that Excel moves rows 9 and 10 and all of the data below those rows down and leaves two empty rows above the selected rows. I can add multiple columns too. I'll select columns D and E. This time, I right-click the selection and then click Insert on the shortcut menu. The data in columns D and E moves to the right into columns F and G, leaving two empty columns in which I can enter data. Deleting rows and columns is just as easy. I think I'll delete the two columns that I just created. I select them, click the arrow next to Delete in the Cells group on the Home tab, and then click Delete Sheet Columns. Or I can right-click the selection and then click Delete. Let's see that again in slow motion. The data in the selected columns was first cleared, and then all of the data in the columns to the right were moved left to fill the empty columns. Inserting and deleting rows and columns are two methods that I can use to organize my data, but there are more. I can clear the content of cells without moving the adjacent rows or columns. I select a row or column, and then on the Home tab in the Editing group, click the arrow next to Clear and click Clear All. I can also insert or delete individual cells or ranges. I select a range of cells. On the Home tab in the Cells group, I click the arrow next to Insert, and then click Insert Cells. Then I choose the direction in which to move the existing data. Using slow motion, you can see that the selected range and all cells to the right of that range move right, leaving empty cells. I do the same when I delete cells. This time, I'll shift the data up. Using slow motion, you can see that the selected cells are cleared, and the cells below the selected cells are shifted up. For more information about working with individual cells, see the article that accompanies this demo. Finally, I can insert or delete worksheets. To insert a worksheet, I click the New Sheet tab. And to delete a worksheet, I right-click a Sheet tab and click Delete on the shortcut menu. Excel makes it easy to insert or delete rows, columns, individual cells, ranges, and worksheets.